Uh, stand by one. What we've been told is that the six crew members will be allowed to get out of the shuttle as soon as um, all the configuration checks, Again, in other words, all the switches are put in the right uh, a, uh, aspect. Situation with the main engine number three, the high pressure oxidizer turbo pump. Uh, the specifics are still unclear. Uh, that information is uh, coming into the firing room and we anticipate to uh, have that uh, information available shortly. Let me tell you a little bit while we wait for uh, uh, more information on this, how the shuttle propulsion system works. You see those three big engines there at the bottom of the space shuttle. They provide the main power to get the shuttle into orbit. You can see steam coming out of one, the one that was closest to the camera there a minute ago. Those three engines operate uh, through a mixture of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. They join together down there in that, uh, that chamber that you saw. They're ignited by an electrical spark. They explode. And uh, that provides most of the power for the shuttle. There is uh, no indication of any uh, hazardous uh, vapors or uh, any flammable situation at the pad. The crew is, uh, is reporting safe. The vehicle is reporting safe. In the original design of the space shuttle, uh, it was going to try to get into orbit with only those three engines because it is so, they're so easy to control. You can turn a knob and increase the flow again, of just liquid recap, oxygen and hydrogen. We we'll did have a main engine shuttle here. just uh, milliseconds prior to solid rocket booster ignition. Uh, the shutoff was uh, caused by the uh, ground launch sequencer uh, cutting off as a result of apparent uh, misinformation uh, being received from uh, from one of thousands of sources of information. In this particular case, the the uh, the data seems to be coming from the uh, main engine number three high pressure oxidizer turbo pump. That uh, something uh, went wrong within that turbo pump. We're not sure exactly what, uh, but it did cause the main engines to cut off. I'll check with APD. At any rate, these main engines are very complicated pieces of equipment. Rather than just uh, having the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen flow together in the combustion chamber, they have to be forced together at a very high rate of speed. So NASA made a decision to put in uh, turbo pumps, pumps that uh, increase the force and the pressure on the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen stored in that huge red uh, um, red red tank there to make the shuttle lift off and uh, to force the uh, the initial ignition of those engines and uh, what we're going to do now is take a brief break but what we'll do is we'll continue to stay here I'll continue to monitor this as soon as the astronauts begin to come out I imagine we'll be able to show you those pictures and uh, we'll let you know that they are safe as soon as we know that for ourselves for sure so we urge you to stay tuned to CNN and CNN International because we'll continue our coverage of this uh, uh, situation which was potentially dangerous and uh, I won't be satisfied until uh, we see those astronauts out there and away from launch pad 39A. CNN's news will continue in just a moment. Stay with us. Six astronauts and the world's most sophisticated radar on board. And Florida's governor wants help from Washington right now as more Cuban refugees are setting their sights and sails on Florida. This is Daybreak on CNN. News to start your day with Bob Kane and Andrea Arsenal. A space shuttle endeavor stalls on the launch pad one second before planned to lift off. CNN's John Holloman is here with the latest. John. Andrea, good morning. A, a, a remarkable and dramatic moment in the final seconds of the countdown for Space Shuttle Endeavour. It was supposed to lift off about 15 minutes ago now. Let me first show you the, uh, the picture of the uh, final seconds of the countdown. You can see what NASA managers with shocked looks on their faces were looking at in the final one second of the countdown. We have three main engines running. Three, two, one. And have main engine cut off. GLS safing is in progress. GLS safing is in progress. Path 101, BFS loaded to 102, LDB shows 1. And if you receive four more of this board, GLS safing is in progress. Copy, launch team, that's page 909. We have a cutoff of the main engines. The countdown clock has stopped. CDR perform BFS safing. So, um, you saw that uh, uh, if you were watching our live coverage just a few minutes ago. CNN's Paul Karen is on the phone with us now, live from the Kennedy Space Center. Paul, I know you're located relatively close to the, uh, the Kennedy Space Center press office. What are people telling you down there as to what happened and why and what it may mean to the shuttle program? Well, John, what they're saying is 
So far, they're looking at the data coming in on their computers from on board, but the early prognosis is a problem with the high-pressure oxygen turbo pump on main engine number three. And John, as you probably know, anytime you have a startup of the engines and a sudden shutdown on the launch pad, it will cause a 10-day to two-week delay in this shuttle launch, which will affect the next shuttle launch, which was scheduled originally to take off in three weeks. Right, Paul. Um as I understand it, the astronauts are still on board, and uh, NASA continues to tell us that they report they are safe on board uh, the, the shuttle Endeavour, but in a situation like this, that shuttle is never more dangerous than it is with that half a million gallons of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen and uh, in a position to be ready to leave the Earth and not able to leave. So uh, we, of course, will be watching very closely to see whether the astronauts can begin to get out of there. The live um, picture actually we're looking yeah the live picture that we're seeing of the Kennedy Space Center in Florida is a picture that shows you the uh, the access arm over there connected uh, next to the hatch where the astronauts will be able to come out we're hoping there'll be a camera that'll show us a live camera picture from that area as uh, ground teams open the hatch so the astronauts do come out Paul um, you know you've covered many of these shuttle missions this uh, to my memory this is the second or maybe the third time that NASA has had to stop the shuttle at a time when the main engines were firing before the solid rocket boosters went off. Um, and as I, as I look back, it's always been a computer glitch like this where the computer told the main engines they couldn't light the solid rockets and couldn't leave the Earth on schedule because of one problem or another. Yes, and uh, in fact, if my memory serves correct, uh, the last time this hasn't, the last time this happened was probably about a year ago. And as you said, it's a rarity for the NASA engineers to have to deal with something like this at one second to lift off, shut off of all the main engines. Yeah, uh, I'm told that NASA is prepared uh, to, to hold a news conference as soon as they know what happened exactly. And uh, CNN, for our viewers here and around the world, will be carrying that live so we can know what happened at this. Uh, at this very unusual and very, uh, to my way of thinking, scary incident. Yes, and uh, it's going to take a while, I think, for them to hold that press been conference. Told They're still looking NASA for the data. The astronauts themselves are, are safe up in the main cabin. They're continuing to talk to them on their two-way radios, making sure that that's the case. There are six astronauts aboard, all men, on this particular mission. And uh, what will happen as soon as they get the hatch opened is that the three astronauts on the lower of the two levels where people sit for launch will come out uh, one by one. There are three mission specialists and payload specialists down there. And then the, the three astronauts on the upper deck will come out. We had a uh, main engine cutoff uh, just, just before solid rocket booster ignition. Um, the main engine cutoff was caused by the high pressure oxidizer turbo pump discharge temperature exceeding the red line value. Uh, it's still uh, unclear at this time what caused it to exceed the red line value. However, because it did, that violated one of our launch criteria, and the onboard computers caught it and cut the engines off prior to solid rocket booster ignition. This high pressure oxidizer turbo pump uh, discharge temperature occurred on main engine uh, number three. Yeah, are you guys ready uh, in a position for uh, after all three engines had uh, been ignited? At this point, we're still assessing the uh, situation, uh, looking for more data to come in. Uh, uh, yes, sir. All our software is terminal. Primary for uh, the next few minutes is to make sure that the crew get out of the vehicle safely. They have all reported safe. Uh, it's just a matter now of getting them out of their seats and getting them to the white room and then uh, off the pad. We'll continue to wait and watch this situation for you. Brian, I know there's a lot more news in the world that uh, we need to share with our viewers. As soon as we see the crew come out, we'll, uh, we'll provide you information on their safety. But it appears they are safe now. Shuttle had a uh, technical problem, a major technical problem, with less than one second before launch. CNN will continue to cover this live as uh, we get more information. Brian? Thanks a lot, John. In other news, help. That's what Florida Governor Lawton Childs is urgently requesting right, right now, although they continue to report to ground controllers that they are safe. Here's our live picture. You can see Endeavor out there on launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The uh, uh, weather was uh, looking excellent for this morning's launch. In the final few seconds, uh, there is a series of events that the shuttle's onboard computer takes care of. Ground controllers uh, don't really have much control over the actual final pushing of the button to get the shuttle into space. There's so many things that have to happen in that period of time. It has to be done by a computer. 
And uh, the way the computer operates is, at uh, five seconds before launch, the countdown uh, fellow is telling you uh, six, five, four, three. At six and five, the first of the three main engines is fired in a, as a test to make sure it's working, then the second, then the third. As the third main engine was fired, the computer detected something wrong with a high-speed turbo pump that forces liquid oxygen down into the firing chamber along with liquid oxygen. Let's look at that. You will see what happens. Uh, there's sort of a wide shot, a shot about like this from this angle as uh, those three engines are being tested. And then you'll see this cloud of black smoke as the engines are shut down. Let's watch that now. <laughs> 